Rather than utilising the pipe networks inside a civil 3D during the conceptual phase of a project, designers can utilise the drainage tools inside of InfraWorks. Users can do this by going to the Create tab on the ribbon, toggle the Drainage drop-down menu and select Drainage Network. The Create Drainage Network dialog box will then appear. If a user wants to then right-click, an additional toolbar will be displayed. Here, a user can decide whether they want to add inlets and pipelines, manholes and pipelines, outfall and pipeline, inlets only, manholes only, and outfalls only. In this example, we shall begin by toggling the inlets and pipelines option. To begin modeling, a user can simply click on the surface where they'd like their inlet to begin. By typing in a value into the dialog box, the user can ensure the structures are spaced evenly or to a specific dimension. If a user wanted to change the structure type, they can right click and select the manholes and pipelines option. As you can see, the drainage network follows the topography for where the elements have been placed. Additionally, InfraWorks includes manhole access covers and gully gratings for enhanced visualizations. Once modeled, users can review the properties and swap out different parts by selecting the drainage network components. Beyond this, users can amend the entire drainage run by using the size drainage network tool. Here users can change the depth of the pipework by specifying a cover and drop material of the pipes, and applying rainfall data by changing the annual exceedance probability, also known as AEP. In this example, we shall change the pipe material from concrete to high-density polyethylene. Additionally, we can also change the AEP to a 1 in 10 year event. The drainage network has now updated to suit the input parameters for materials and AEP.